As the Wensum grows broader along its journey, larger mills were built. Sometimes a small village with a successful corn mill, like Fakenham, would grow faster than its neighbours to become a prosperous market town for all the surrounding farms. The construction of a water mill always caused dramatic changes in the natural shape and depth of the river. Upstream, a straight section was chosen with banks firm enough to hold a great head of water in a deep pool. Bintree Mill, the loveliest on the Wensum, is typical in design of the mills which successfully ground our flour for 300 years until this century. This is the original works established by Bassett Lokes Senior, photographed in the year 1888. And this is young Wynne Bassett Loke. In later years, Bassett Loke acquired a bicycle with which he used to tour the country looking for good railway scenes. And with the camera, he recorded the work of his own firm. In this case, the building of a model of a mogul locomotive of the old London, Midland and Scottish Railway Company. Bassett Loke also filmed the ordinary railway scenes of his day, like this visit to the sheds at Camden on the LMS. The locomotive has been got ready to take the midday Scot out of Euston. The handful of old men who were still building them in the 1920s were hastily filmed for posterity, as the end seemed to be in sight even then. But in a very few parts of Wales, the coracle was still found in regular use. Everyone used them as a matter of course, not out of sentimentality, but because the evolution of boat design had never catered for the special conditions found on these fast and varied rivers. The designs of coracles from different Welsh rivers always varied slightly. The tyvey shape is the best known, with its flattish prow and narrow waist, and in particular the broad bulge below the gunwale, essential for safety in turbulent waters. In Victorian times, Blackpool was well known for its excellent bathing facilities. As in so many small resorts around the coast, the seaside holiday was becoming big business. These local businessmen were the entrepreneurs, led by their mayor, who formed the Blackpool Tower Company. After only two years of fundraising, work began in September 1891. The idea had, of course, come direct from the Great Paris Exhibition in 1889, where the Eiffel Tower was the centrepiece. This rare early film, taken from the top of an electric tram on the promenade in 1898, is testament to the new development in Blackpool. <laughs> 